everyone, this is Timothy. Welcome to another episode in our NFT framework core series. Today we drive into the concepts of many-to-many -many relationships in NFT framework core. So we will look at what is it, how to set it up, and how to apply a, a migration in your projects. So if you missed my previous video on one-to-one -one and one-to-many relationships, be sure to check those out on my channel. So, um, Okay, so first let's talk about NFT uh, relationship in general. So uh, NFT uh, framework core supports three types of relationship. One to one, one to many, many to many. Understand this is crucial for building efficiency database and query. In the previous session, we covered one to one and one to many relationship. Today we focus will be on one to many where multiple entity from both sides can relate to each other. So, um, so what exactly is the many-to-many -many relationship? So um, simply put, this is a relationship between each record in one entity. Uh, it's linked to multiple records in another entity. So and uh, vice versa. So um, let me think. Uh, for example, uh, uh, things of uh, student and course. A, a student can enroll in multiple courses and a course can have many students. So in a database, this is handled by introducing a uh, joint table to manage uh, the links between these entities. So, uh, 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 so now let's look at how to configure a many-to-many -many relationship in entity framework core. So first you define your entity, let's say, uh, uh, student and courses, then you introduce a junction table called enrollments, which link these two entities. Okay, so you can use this Fluence API to configure this uh, relationship, such as using uh, has many function and with many function to represent the, uh, the high isolated between student and course. So I show you some source left of my code here. Uh, you can see in the in this code has a many with many function also using using entity here okay this is e this efficiency set up the relationship and as the entity knows how to handle it okay so um so once you set up your relationship the next step is to apply a migration first you will want the add migration command and and uh, uh, with a customer light, so uh, uh, a customer lamp light. So uh, add the migration uh, many to many setup. So many to many setup is just is my uh, uh, I define a lamp. This you can define your lamp. So a meaningful lamp. So uh, this will create the uh, necessary migration file for training you have made. So that the file will be under. Under, uh, under the uh, migration uh, folder, so you can find that uh, file in the uh, under the ma uh, migration folder. So let's uh, run the update database command. So this will apply the migration to your database, including create the joy table that represent many to many relationship. So now we go to have a look at the code. So. Uh, So now we go to set many to many here relationship with my project entity. So the first let's to create the project entity because we have already had this employee entity uh, project uh, entity is uh, nothing but uh, uh, this this entity uh, is nothing but uh, the project has right clicks on the model folder here. Right, you you if. So uh, yeah, I, before I already created, so uh, so if you don't have this card, you can right click here and then and then add a new card here, new card here, and then call a project. Okay. So. 
new class event type uh, call for that. Okay. So I already have first, so I don't have. So what you you if you done nothing before, so you have, now you can add the project here. So uh, here the project ID is, is the priority key, and already have discussed that uh, before that in here. We have the project ID here in the project name, and so uh, uh, we mentioned before that uh, the SQL Server maintain a separate uh, table to collect two table that has many to many uh, relationship. The same way we ever here we we are going to create an entity that collect these two entities. Uh, so uh, let me see. Um, we, if if you don't have employee project set uh, uh, done the same way, I will click here add a new class here. So you have to create this uh, employee project. Okay, this is for conjunction table entity. So uh, this entity will have ID from both uh, the table, and here I adding the employee ID. This ID from the employee class, and this is reference navigation pro properties. So uh, the employee is reference navigation property. This tell that uh, this employee ID. This is employee ID. Okay. So uh, this is virtual lazy loading. So you should have uh, employee ID. This is this is warranty. Uh, this is a uh, this is a reference navigation pro property. Okay. This is also navigation property because we link up this. Uh, this is a uh, joint, joint, joint junction table entity. So we need to have uh, uh, both uh, foreign key here. So I have a project ID and reference uh, reference uh, navigation property, and it tell the entity uh, finger call that this project uh, ID is from the project class. So our next step is to define collection. So uh, uh, define collection navigation property on the both entity to represent the relationship, and let's see how to do that. And I will open the employee here, right? So. So I add this collection. Do you see here? I add this collection navigation property. Add it. So uh, it's to public. We can go to do the same thing in the in in, in the project class. So this is also a public. So you have to make sure that this is public. So you uh, done the same thing here. It's also is a, a navigation property. It's a collection navigation property. So okay, now we uh, so the many to many reasons is is. Is is already set us, but this is not sufficiency. We have to fo fo follow one more step. That this is explicitly configuration using Fluence API. So I will, I will tell you uh, why to do this for this explicitly configuration. We have to override uh, on the module creating method from the uh, AppDB contents class. I so um, let me see. Go back to here. Yeah. So we have we open the app uh, DB content class. We have this on config method. On config method here. Uh, the same way we have overlay another method uh, uh, method pod, uh, product. So uh, overlay the model creators. So um, this is now you, you see that uh, uh, this uh, if we API we are going to config the uh, relationship here. So uh, let me see. Okay. So you if you haven't typed it, you can type it now. You follow the the, the code. You can type it. Uh, follow this code. You can just type uh, type in your code in project. So. Uh, <coughs> I will make a, a, a separate a video on full one API for allow you understand this API that is uh, less us to config this model explicitly here. So we are config this uh, 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 junction uh, uh, entity employee project, right? Employee project here. So uh, here we are define the key and uh, and in this code we are setting up the relationship, right? We have to define the key. And set up the relationship um, with the uh, project entity. We we are going to understand full API in the upcoming video. If you look this uh, 
look if you look at in one to one relationship, one to many relationship, we didn't override on this uh uh module create method and didn't uh, did all this set up once in case in uh, all of uh, one to many relationship we uh, did it because NLT uh, framework core can automatically configure the relationship based on the PD fund the convention. So uh but in in case of many to many uh, relationship we have to do this because uh you you have to tell to NLT framework co uh, core and the database about this uh, uh, junction table even in case of one to one relationship or and one to many relationship if you want to override the force or convention then you can go for go for the uh, uh, full, full, full API and you can override PD final conventions before adding the migration nest at uh, this so uh, let me see oh. okay same thing we do the before just uh, let's my very soon oh okay many many So now we have to apply this trend. So data thing. So when you type, when you type the add migration, you will see uh, uh, you have created new file under the uh, migration folder. So now the database is already updated. Okay. So um, so uh, to summarize, many to many relationship allows more compact isolation between your entity. So and they are cool. So in the as in civil like a student or a, a course or a project or and uh, their team member. So um we already covered that uh the uh the uh, different uh definitely uh, many to many relationship and then configure the relationship in in entity framework core using full ABI and then. Uh, I already show you how to apply the migration to update your database. So stay tuned for our next session where we will try to dive into one topic like uh, query optimization in the NFT framework core. Thanks for watching and uh, don't forget to like and subscribe for more content. Bye bye.